So uh, this is the uh, last job of uh, this year for the one year. It's a uh, pretty good weather, yeah. and uh, I think we got uh, really quality things. Right? Yeah, what I can see for this year it was very good, and I can see that you know the vine need to be protected. You have mm. to continue to protect the vine. This is uh, protection for the winter, like our baby. You can go. This is my tool. We have to put this on, put it on. Then this is, yeah, at least it's high. Then this is like a baby. We have to protect it. We have to protect it. Nicholas Germa's family have been in the Bordeaux wine business for six generations. Few of the world's top wine regions are unknown to him. But coming to the eastern foothills of the Huolan Mountains in Ningxia has been a real eye-opener for him. After October, just after the harvest, we bury the vine and we protect the vine behind. It's only unique. In the world, there's only one area, one country is doing this. The winter is very, very long and also very cold, which kill all the disease. This is very important. So that is to say each year we have less and less disease. I was very uh, attractive and uh, about Ningxia climatic condition, very interesting compared to Bordeaux. For example, in Bordeaux, we is raining like 900 millimeters of rain each year. In Ningxia, only one, 120, so very small. Here, the, you have a lot of sunshine. For example, in Ningxia, we have 3,000 hours of sunshine. In Bordeaux, we have 1,500 hours and very hot during the day, but also very cool night which bring a lot of tannin and a good polyphenol. Very interesting to make good wine. Nicholas is convinced that the eastern foothills of the Huolan Mountains is just the place he's looking for. Meanwhile, his winemaker, Maria Teresa Romero Ponce, a Chilean girl who was born in the 1990s, has seen another side to this land. Somebody is cool? So, sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. 2022 vintage. Yeah, this is a good one. Mm -hmm. Very good. And everything is possible thanks to the Yellow River. Yeah. Yeah. We could not do this amazing wine without the Yellow River. That's true. Yeah. For us, it's really important as a winemaker because all the water, we take it from the Yellow River. So in Chile, uh, our water is mainly coming from the mountain, linking to the river. But I think that we don't have as much culture or as much um, history on a river like Ningxia. So yeah, sometimes I go as well to the museum. On the museum, the girls just play me everything, how, how from the ancient times people take the water, dig the drain. It's super, super interesting. Yellow River is culture, is history, and it also has minerals, have compounds inside, and that make it different as well. The Yellow River and the culture and civilization it created, unique sources of inspiration for one young winemaker the Yellow River, with its long history, has left in its wake not just wealth, but also a host of unique local customs. So Bobosha is really interesting because uh, you have different elements, all mix it, and uh, then you have an amazing tea. And you can drink it all day. So um, this is really, really similar to what we do as a winemakers. Because I'm planning to stay longer, so I keep learning more about culture. I think wine is always culture. 
we are already unique, but we can develop a more unique wine from Ninxia, understanding, understanding every single element from the region. We are very connected from the soil to the sky, and the wine is make you the things between. I'm very proud to make the best wine of China and to show to the world. Today, thanks to the increasing popularity of the Ningxia wine region, the terroir of the eastern foothills of the Hualan Mountains is a much discussed topic in wine circles. What's its secret? The answer to that question is to be found in the Yellow River, the Hualan Mountains, in the folk songs that are sung across the Ningxia Plain and in the footsteps of the Ningxia people as they trot across the globe. The good thing is that nowadays, more and more people are decoding this special terroir and in the process of extolling the Yellow River and its virtues to the entire world. <laughs>